hey guys welcome back to my another video and in this video i'm going to show you that how we can use this react multi-select uh, drop down on our react applications and this is the uh, package which is available npm so what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this and we're gonna play around with this drop down there are a variety of ways which we can create using a checkbox using a group or checkbox or just a multi-select we could do uh, many more functionality here uh, and here also a really nice example which we can see on this uh, on demo here here is area of object we could able to see right and pre-select values already has been selected show checkbox like checkbox right and select with the checkbox and if we click it here we can also see the code it's pretty straightforward we just need to use this code and that's all about it but first we need to install this package which is multi select react drop down uh, in our applications here and I already installed and I already create like this and basically what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you how we can uh, use this okay so let me put my all the changes to my stash so I don't have uh, the blank react applications here so let me check my package okay I don't have the uh, dependencies which is multi select to drop down so I'll just copy this and I will put it here okay so I install npm I multi select react drop down actually it's supposed to be added here but it comes it up to here it's fine so now it's going to install this so, okay so in the meantime what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the, my code here right and I'll just leave the app here and in my app CSS I'll just put some some a padding here like 20 pixel okay and and here so as I mentioned before all the code is already available here so we just need to click it and this is it this is it multi select and and we could use this directly i mean this is only yep this is a multi select and we could use directly like this if i put it here and i need to import where this is coming from looks like my package is is still installing but here it already put directly the uh, data but of course we could use the, we can get this data from api or we could also literally write it up here or we could also use from use state okay so i'll just use from use state here and use state constant okay uh, let me do okay the shortcut is not even working for me okay here it is and this is maybe a food data okay so i'm just gonna show the food here it's, it just say uh, option here so i'm not going to say option i'm just going to say here a burger and here something called pizza and, and something called sandwich okay and i'm just gonna close this and I put this food here and and this is basically when we remove then it just will return some values so what we can do is instead of this we could able to uh, you check the events here and here we can we can print console.log by the way we could select it using this uh, two uh, text together by pressing ctrl d and, and we can change it like this okay so once i save it okay so now i need to import this and i import multi select for multi select react drop down and if i see here okay here it is and if i pick burger pizza and sandwich and it all been selected and what it really does is when I select it uh, then then this event will trigger when it's removed then this event will trigger. if I click it here then we have only two in our uh, selected list that's why it's just show burger and pizza which is pretty cool it's really nice so it's pretty straightforward and we could also able to use uh, a lot of functionality such as when the when it's already has been loaded then when we can say a display 
value i mean we could also create like key and value pair like this and 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 we could also add it and here in display we just tell that what value we want to put it in our example we have only one we don't have a key value pair here so we don't have to put that on it but for selected values we could use this selected values here and in selected values is basically when it's loaded at the first time then which one is selected okay here we don't have a key and value pair we have only the uh, uh the only the area of a string so i'll just say the selected value is burger so whenever it's loaded the first time it just shows a burger and because because i already put it here the selected values when it's loaded then it uh, put it that as a burger okay so as we can as we can see in a code we can also able to do as as a group as a grouping here right here in a group uh, we could also able to do that easily like show checkbox by using this let's let's try this i haven't tried this but let's try this what happened if i do as a here or not here sorry it was here so checkbox then then i think we will see some checkbox here okay which is pretty cool pretty neat here a lot of functionality which you can try we can put your custom code but basically it's very straightforward just need to add packages and just need to use this example and put the code there and that's all for this video quick video and i hope you guys learned something new and that's all and please do like and subscribe my channel i will put more program tricks tips in the channels and thank you very much for watching guys bye for now